The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Cincinnati. From just inside the 20. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, how's that for an early storyline? Some people are asking the ushers where their seat is. And boom, we've got a score on the board, a fumble return on the opening kickoff. And this is where all the tailgating groups are looking at each other saying, maybe we need to get to the stadium just a little bit earlier next time. But man, those bratwursts, they're good, Charles. They're good. <laughs> So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is taken way up at the 25. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here we go. Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Back to Mixon on first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. On second and nine, Burrow incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third right. down throws. 11, 11, 11. 12, 12. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. To the air again, Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This goes out wide for Mixon. Touchdown, Bengals! Joe Mixon from 19 yards away. And the Bengals marching right down the field on their opening drive to take the early lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They start the drive with Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second and two, Allen looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
First down, here's the run with Cook. On the move past the 40. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run it again with Cook. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 12-yard line. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. To throw, it's Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Isaiah McKenzie, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have moved out in front. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. The long drive last time out for this offense, Charles, if you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football he gets this in the hands of Mixon and he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion throwing now Burrow on first down and his throw is going to be incomplete I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on To throw once more on second and ten. Burrow. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Here we go. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 41. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Burrow to Mixon on the check down. And some space here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 23 yards the pick up there. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Pass thrown right back to Joe Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Throwing again on second down. Burrow. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. I'm wondering. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. 11, 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Stop. Again, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only a lot of conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. 
Fourth down. Here's Joe Burrow. Slant pass to Boyd. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Burrow will throw. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bengals are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really serving the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands. Knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-ups and shit going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Throwing on first down is Allen. And this is Cook with a grab. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Throw left side complete. That's McKenzie. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And they'll indeed take a knee. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Allen going to go on fourth down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Isaiah McKenzie with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Try to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick. And he is... 
is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal? In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bengals drive about to get going. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. In motion, the tight end. Here's Allen on first and ten. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach don't they and I guarantee he's been selling this one we can get it coach we can get it and that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about from the 32 now here's first and 10 from the gun it's a give to Cook and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 30 on second down, Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll find Diggs once more on the completion. Second and five from the eight. To the air, Allen. Allen. 
And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, an eight-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. Bengals 14, Bass the kickoff for After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Coming up on second and seven. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Open man is Higgins. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. Nah, come back. You're doing the same play over and over again. Come back. You got it, though. Come on. Come on back in the game. Let's get it.